Hello friends, welcome back and this is the gaming review of the all new Samsung Galaxy A9 Pro. So without any further ado, let's start. Starting with the temperature readings, we are getting an average of around 32 to 33 degrees Celsius and right now we have the AC running in the office. So that has an impact as well. Let's start with the first game, which is Service Surfer. And while I am playing this game, let me quickly share the specifications of this phone. A9 Pro is powered by Snapdragon 652 octa-core processor clocked at 1.8 GHz. The GPU used is Adreno 510 with a combo of 4 GB of RAM. This game is kind of an understatement for the specifications of A9 Pro. So let's move on to a bit high-end gaming, that is the Riptide GP2. This water sports game with all its splashes and jet stunts is quite heavy on the phone and will put the GPU to test. A9 Pro is coping up well and there are hardly any lags or frame skips. Gameplay is decent and the Super AMOLED display of 6 inches really makes a difference. The sound from the speakers are also adequate and adds to the overall gaming experience. After 2 games and 10 minutes of gameplay, the temperature reading of the device is 38 degrees and the edges are a bit warmer at around 40 degrees Celsius. Now let's bring out the big daddy of Android games, Asphalt 8. Let's see how well the phone handles it. As you can see, the game is running on the highest settings without any lags and frame skips. The gameplay is smooth and I have no complaints here. I have said this before and I'll say it again, the Super AMOLED display of 6 inches make the gameplay more awesome and 5000mAh of battery makes sure that you play high-end games for hours without the need of plugging the phone into a power source. At number 4, we will be playing Mortal Kombat X. And here also, no complaint whatsoever. The big screen makes it easy to work with controls. However, for some of the users, the weight of A9 Pro can be an issue for long hours of gaming sessions. The phone is quite heavy and we will be covering the design expert in our full review so do make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so that you know when our review comes out. Last but not the least, final game in the list is Nova 3. Now from what I believe, Nova 3 is one of the best high-end FPS games for Android and the device was able to run it smoothly as well. So overall, this looks like a great gaming device in terms of performance. Let's have a final look at the temperature readings. The temperature reading is around 37 to 38 degrees Celsius which is acceptable. The edges however were almost 40 degrees Celsius. With that, here are the benchmark scores of the A9 Pro. That's all in this video, we will be doing the full review soon on our channel. So make sure you subscribe to Guiding Tech and don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.